everyone welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking at the proof for this theorem that we have studied in the previous video so the th theorem here tells us about that the mo uh, about the monotonically increasing nature of sequence of projections right so this sequence of projections that converges to some other point uh, some other operator p which is also a projection operator one thing another thing is that it projects whole of the given hilbert space onto what onto the closure of the union of all the image spaces of the projections right and moreover it has null space which is nothing but the intersection of all the null space of individual projection operators right so this is what theorem tells us so here we wanted to prove firstly that the uh, th this limit is a projection secondly the uh, this projection projects p onto this space and its null space is this one so let's start with the proof here so for the first part we assume m less than n why because we are taking the monotonic nature of the sequence so whenever n m is less than n so that means p m would be uh, related to p n right using the uh, operation that we have defined earlier if that is so so if one space uh, one operator is connected with another operator or relation in that case their spaces they are contained within each other so here we are denoting this y m by p m h and y n by p n h so this p m h is contained in p n h right okay and moreover we know the difference of two projections is a projection so therefore p n minus p m is a projection and now from here because you know p n is greater than equal to p m so you could say that uh, that is a positive operator right so this thing p n minus p m is greater than equal to zero so this is a positive operator right and moreover for every fixed element x here which is a member of the given hilbert space we know that we could write the, this inner product px with x as equal to the norm square of px and this projection is a positive operator that you all know and its norm is always less than 1 and it is equal to 1 whenever we do not have a, uh, the space the image space as only the zero space right so here we consider this thing we wanted we will relate our sequence of uh, p n x with that of the sequence of p n x the norm sequence right so using this uh, relating it with this one and having results on this one we will come to our conclusion so let's see how for this to be convergent what we are considering we are taking two elements from this particular sequence so we are taking p n x minus p m x norm square and we will see what happens to this particular sequence so by calculation you could write this thing as p n minus p m into x norm square right and according to this result here the inner product of px with x is equal to the norm square of px so this could be written as pn minus pm x with x right so you could separate out using the properties of inner product you could separate out this inner product so you have the inner product of pn x with x minus the inner product of pm x with x so you could write this thing as the norm square of pnx again using this above result and you could write the second inner product as the norm square of pmx right so let's call this as equation number one now using the above stated result because you know all the projections they are less than equal to one so the uh, projection pn norm square that is all norm that is also less than equal to one and if this norm is less than equal to 1 so you have the norm of p n x less than equal to the norm of x why because the norm of p n is less than 1 so you could write this thing as um, p n x norm less than equal to the norm of p n the norm of x and this thing is less than 1 right so you have this thing less than equal to the norm of x square right 
so from here you see that because its norm is less than equal to 1 and moreover using equation 1 we could conclude that this sequence of the norm of p and x this is a bounded sequence of numbers why numbers because we are now talking about the norm here and for norms what do we have the norms are basically they are function which maps uh, the given function to certain number so this is a bounded sequence of numbers so through this bounded sequence of numbers we'll be talking about the sequence of operators and in particular projections so here we say that this sequence p and x is also monotone why because the given sequence p n was monotone we have considered this thing if this is monotone so the norm sequence would also be monotone and because it is both bounded as well as monotone so therefore the sequence would surely converge why because it is bounded so it would lie in certain uh, under certain bounds right and moreover it is monotonic so either it would increase or it would decrease so there would come certain point that after that point because it is bounded it will start going in uh, in same direction right so that would surely converge and so using equation number one here so equation one tells us that the norm of p and x minus the norm of p m x norm square that is equal to the norm of p n x square minus the norm of p m x square right so using this equation and because the sequence of this norms that is a convergent sequence so therefore the sequence p n x is cauchy right so using both of these things we have the sequence p n x as cauchy Be why because this is a convergent sequence and we are talking about the difference of these two and if uh, it is convergent whenever n and m are large so this difference would go to zero and in particular this thing would go to zero so that means we could say that the sequence p n x is a cauchy sequence and moreover because we are not we are present in the given Hilbert space right we are present in H where what is this H that is the given Hilbert space so this is a complete space and you know in complete space every Cauchy sequence every Cauchy sequence is convergent so in particular we are now talking about the sequence of P and X so that also converges in H right and moreover this limit depends on x so we can say that this p and x would tend to p of x and when we change x so we have different limit right so it defines this operator p so here we are saying that this particular sequence p and x would now converge to some operator which we are naming as p right and this depends on x so that means this is strongly convergent on h one thing another thing because the sequence p and x is converging to p x and all the p n's they are bounded you know they are self adjoint that is given to us that they are idempotent why a self adjoint and idempotent being projections linear so if all the pns have these properties so its limit has also the same properties and because the limit now is self adjoint idempotent bounded and linear we can call this as a projection so one part of the proof is done right so now in the second part we wanted to prove that this projects this uh, projects h onto the union of p and h closure right so we'll be continuing with this in the next video so i hope you understood part a we'll continue with part b in the next video thank you for watching